Welcome, everybody, back to another edition of the Orange Bloods Texas Football Channel. I'm Jeff Ketchum. It's time for the flash. It's time for Xavier Worthy. I don't know yet what we're going to name this segment, Xavier, but we're going to just start with that because you've got new gear out. And I didn't know that you had a nickname, but it turns out you have a nickname. Give me give me the breakdown on how the flash started. So it's a long, it's a long story. So when I was in sixth grade, uh, you know how they had like the little Marvel, like Cam Newton cleats. So it was like Batman, it was like Hulk, and they had flashback cleats. And I was always like really fast. So in sixth grade, my mom bought me some flash cleats. I like, I was one of those, I had flash cleats. I had flash socks with the cape on the back, the flash gloves, flash, uh, Back plate, so like I was just like now super fast. Everybody that name just stuck with me. So now you've got you got gear. You have actual t-shirts out. The real Flash is that opposed to like the superhero? Like who who is getting Flash shade? If you're the real Flash, <laughs> yeah, that was that was to the superhero. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you have have the have your teammates caught on yet, or is this a self made prophecy at this point? And about the first time you go seventy and catch your first career touchdown, the flash starts to take over. Uh, I want to say when I score, when I'll catch that seventy yard bomb. All right. Well, hey, let's talk a little bit about practice. You know, it occurred to me that you now have done four times as much practice since the last time we've talked. Like that's how new it all was, first practice versus now you've done four, you're on the verge of, of putting on full pads. How do you feel? What's it, what, are there any big changes that you can feel yourself going through? Like walk us through what it's been like. Uh, I feel like I'm catching on kind of fast. Uh, since then, uh, I've been in the playbook more. I started learning more about the playbook, under, getting a more understanding on my alignment, uh, assignment stuff, like learning where to line up and stuff at. So I've been good. And we started a little bit of little contact, so blocking. I've been good there. So, like, really, it's just, like, it's been the same. The DB's finding out the hard way that you're more swole and, and jacked up than maybe they realize. <laughs> 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 uh, tell what's the most freshman thing, do you think? Is it still just learning where to be and when to be there? If I was to say what's – the most freshman part of your game right now is that is that probably it yeah probably about, probably that and that i'm quiet like i'm not like really that you know, like stuff like that yet everybody keeps on mentioning your name uh i did a video last night with jake majors starting offensive lineman and he mentioned you unprovoked he mentioned you as a guy that has stood out to him in practice. Obviously, we brought this up in the last video that that has been happening. Is there a moment from the first four days that you feel like showcases your skills and that there, has there been a moment of your arrival in practice yet or is that still happening? Um, no, I just I just give him all every practice. I work hard. Um, don't take my foot off the gas. Nothing's given to you, so I just, I just keep using that going forward. Little birdies have been telling us that you've already been making quite a bit of move on the depth chart in the sense that you are getting snaps and reps kind of all over the place in terms of offense. I mean, uh, you know, initially listed inside, do you think that there's a quest to get you and the best wide receivers on the field at the same time? And if that means moving you guys around, that you guys have the versatility of doing that? Uh, yes, yes, we do. But, um, um, I, I will be playing outside and inside. The depth chart's not established that we are still fighting for a spot. Is there a place you think you feel most comfortable just in general, or is it it's all kind of the same to you? Well, that's all kind of the same to me. You still got to you still gotta win wherever you at, so either or is perfect. What's the difference? Like, I, if as someone who's never played inside or outside receiver in his entire life, just not where they ever asked me to line up, Walk me through the differences and what is asked of you in the, each of those roles. It's really like no difference. It's just like 
the slot, the inside is like where like the faster guy will normally play at. That's really the difference. So fast guys go inside because they're fast. And I think it probably says something to your overall abilities as a receiver that like you can play either. You're not just a fast guy, I guess. Yeah, the offense that Sark has is really a good offense. They exploit you every everywhere you like. We don't have a posi- our specific position, so we're we're moving all around, doing some different things. So I feel like his offense will get us ready for the next level. Cool. Looking forward to full pra- full pads. Like, uh, it's, I can't imagine getting hit is the your favorite thing. What's the purpose of being fast, right? If you're getting hit, the whole point of being fast is that they never catch you, but. Do you look forward to putting the pads on? Like, what's your vibe on that? Yeah, I'm ready. That's going to get me ready for the full game. So, might as well get it over with now so I get experience on how it feels to get hit in college versus later on. Is there anybody in the defensive backfield that you get the sense wants to put a hit on you? Like, you know, I, I, I over the years, I've heard of seniors. There was once a guy, Quentin Jammer, played in the NFL for a long time. And he once told a freshman the entire year that he couldn't wait to get him into pads because he was going to knock him out. And they had to eventually pull him aside and say, hey, quit quit telling our freshman receivers that you want to knock them out cold. Anybody put the put the X on you, so to speak? Nah, they all try to scare me, but like, <laughs> I'm not scared. Not scared. They can talk all they want to. At the end of the day, they have to still catch you first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. On the Flash nickname, now that that's out there, now that you have official The Real Flash t-shirts, which mm-hmm. we'll put up on the screen and people can go to your Twitter page. Actually, I'm sure we'll put the information up on here and they can find out how to go get your gear. There's going to be dudes coming for the crown on your team. Is there anybody, if you're not, if we took you out of the equation, is there anybody that you feel like on the team right now, based on what you've seen, that could challenge you for the flash nickname. Oh yeah, we got a couple, we got a couple of burners on the team. We got um Montreal, we got DJ Jameson. Jameson, we got um Moochie, we got um Joshua Moore, we got a couple of fast people. So I have to believe though that you feel like you would win a race, right? Like you're the flash. I feel like I wouldn't against anybody. Has there been anybody that you've seen that you think, yeah, I mean, it may be that it just hasn't happened yet. Have you seen flash level speed? Like who, who, if someone challenged you to either a 40 or a hundred, would you personally want to see that race? Um, I don't know. All right. A lot of burners on the team, though. I know that we got a lot of burners on the team. When we do this next video, you let me know if someone called you out because they want to, they want they want to carry the title of the real flash. It'll probably, uh, probably call me out. Probably Jameson. <laughs> probably it'll Jameson. Probably, yeah, probably Jameson. Uh, last question I wanted to ask you, and then we'll let you go. If you, I would imagine, just in in terms of being a freshman and and general homesickness, is there any? I want to remind everybody, like you're still a young guy, and this is still a learning process for you. Anything that you miss the most from back home? Like if you could have one thing, uh, bring a little bit of Fresno to you in Austin, what would you, what would, what would you have packaged up and sent to you? Mm, my family, but like me, me personally, I, my mom told me, um, you all, you got to let the little bear out of the house. So like you got to, you got to let set him free. So you got to be a man and grow up and do man stuff. So I just took that with me and I'm just doing me executing what I'm doing, school, practice. So that's all I've been focused on. Still, I would imagine that uh, mom will watch this video. It, all things being equal, you'd take a hug from mom right about now, right? Mm. <laughs> a hug. And does it, does mom cook anything special that if she spent the weekend in town that you would have her make for you? Oh, my taquitos off, off the gym. She makes some chicken taquitos. Those are my favorite. That's my favorite. So... She needs to be prepared. She knows, right? When, mm-hmm. Whenever you come to town, just if there's a way to get the taquitos to happen, right? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right, look, this is still the unnamed show, although it might be The Flash real soon. Or, hey, can we, what do you prefer people to call you? Zay, Xavier, the X-Men? Like, all things being equal, which one do you like? Zay. 
Zay. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that's on the record now. We can call you Zay, and it's been invited. Well, look, man, uh, for Zay, Xavier Worthy, in his second edition of the Orange Woods Texas Football Channel, and we will have sponsors soon. If you're interested in sponsoring these videos, shoot me an email, call me up, do whatever you need to do. Uh, until next time, man, stay healthy, keep doing your thing, and we look forward to talking to you. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. We'll talk to you soon.